Chet Womack here from theprepperproject.com with Engineer775. Scott, when it comes to Faraday cages, what exactly are they and how do they work? Okay. Well, first I want to give credit to who um, Michael Faraday is. He's the inventor of the Faraday cage, uh, 18th, 19th century. Uh, late 18th century is when he lived, and he actually um, built a, the first Faraday cage in 1836, and it was a 12-foot cube, and he actually lived in it to prove that any um, pulse like lightning, anything that would hit this cage would not harm or hurt anyone inside. And he actually lived in it and he was able to breathe and, and not, and they bombarded it with electromagnetic pulses and equivalent to lightning. And so the concept of a Faraday cage is to shield you or whatever you're trying to protect from this electromagnetic pulse. And what happens when the pulse hits the shield, all the electron, and, and again, the shield has to be metallic and conductive material all the positive charges here are kind of negated by those on the other side, the negative charges. And this, they all kind of balance out. And so nothing can get inside of the shielding. So that's why it's so important that there's no holes, pinpricks, or seals. And so basically the, the electrons are gonna get basically stabilized on the surface of this, what is called a Faraday cage. So you can't just do the top, you can't do the si just the sides or the bottom. You have to do the complete enclosure because those electrons are fighting and balancing out those positive and negative charges just kind of so you're stabilized there. And that brings up the point of grounding, should you ground or not ground? And um, that's, a, that's a big question and there's a lot of debates. On a large structure like what Michael Faraday built, the rule of thumb is ground that. Get that huge amount of electricity, that amount of energy away from that structure and to put it to earth ground. What I found on smaller cages, ammo cans, trash cans, to, you do not have to ground those. I prefer nesting, putting Faraday cages inside of Faraday cages to give you a, almost an exponential increase in shielding effect from a, a pulse. So Michael Faraday gets the credit. Albert Einstein had a picture of Michael Faraday on, the, on his wall. I mean, he was the man that came up with electromagnetics. He was a great physicist, experimental physicist that um, proved these ideas. Mm. And so um, the Faraday cage that people just talk about all the time, Michael Faraday is the man that came up with the idea. If you're interested in how you can protect yourself from a CME or an EMP event, just click on the link below.